Okay. <clears throat> so this is uh, the first match of the playoffs of our Rivals Team League Season 2. We have Spartan Warriors against Baguette. <clears throat> so we have Kenny Emmy, rep Kenny Emmy representing Spartan Warriors. Zarkos representing Baguette. And this is game number one. So we see an interesting deck from Zarkos. Very heavy War Factory. And supported with Fanatics and then Phantom as anti air. And Kenny Emmy is bringing his GDI deck. So well balanced 2 2 2 deck. So he's got his Rifleman, his missiles, standard, and then a slingshot, anti air, MLR, MLRS, his anti vehicle, and then <coughs> Razorback and Mohawk. So the Razorback won't be too useful in this matchup. Mohawk would be quite good though. Shooting down these bikes. Well timed uh, drone, healing drone. Uh, Kenny Emmy. It's holding the pad. So, with the Razor back out, uh, it's very hard for Zarkos to get the Fanatics to counter the missile squads, as you can see. Razor back just shreds so quick. So Zarkos probably wants to use a uh, chem buggy. Fanatics are just getting donated. Another healing. Healing drone comes out. It's nice. Oh, we're now setting up the MLRS. Oh, once this gets set up, we are really tough for Zarkos. Especially this map. <coughs> so now the MLRS can actually hit uh, the tiles on the sec uh, far pad there for Kenny. And is well protected. Zarkos has no way to, to take it out. Now contest the pad. Kenny Emmy takes game one on Tetra Rally. Let's see what map Zarkos picks next. Here we see Zarko switching it up to Nod. Kenny Emmy sticking with GDI. And actually with the same deck. Seems like a pretty solid deck. Oh wait, Zarkos was Nod. Never mind. Both sticking with the same deck. Zarkos just choosing two fuses instead. Um, questionable choice. I feel like MLRS is still good on this map as well. Because uh, if your MLRS is, for example, Set up here, you can hit any unit, units on this pad over here and is pretty well protected. You uh, <coughs> so you see infantry come out, missiles countering the wheels. Um, I'm guessing Kenny made the rifleman as a preemptive counter, expecting Zarkos to switch to Fanatics, and now he does. Um, but I think he expected that switch a little earlier. Um, Zarkos kind of threw away a few wheel squads. Now the Razorback comes up. This melts fanatics. So insane. Cleans up that wheel. Now Kenny. Oh, I guess they'll walk out. But he's got to get on the pads. Makes the drone. So Kenny prime position, take the first missile. How's Zarkos got to deal with this this game though? What can he change? It's too expensive for him to never bring out a phantom. Razorback just shreds the fanatics too quickly before they can deal with the missile squads. I think the uh, Chuggy i try to use a chuggy. Instead of making like these two fanatic squads, just make one chuggy. Oh, 
Boom. Jesus, fanatic spam. Oh. Razorback, so much damage. Okay, MRS is out. This is gonna be tough. How is Zarkar's gonna do? Oh, the boosted bikes swing around. Oh, that was pretty big. <coughs> MRS was a big investment. Okay, drone goes on the contest, not bad. Oh, almost too far. Razor back on the right pad, clears that up. Oh, Sarkos takes it. No, the Mohawk lives. He's got to take out the Razor back. Oxana boost on the Fanatics. <gasps> Gets on the pad. Uh oh. Yeah, just a little bit of lag. Oh, MRS set up with the healing drone. Let's see, Zarkos. It's very hard for me to deal with MRS. Just threw away a few bike squads. Mm. Oh, but the MRS shot the fanatics there. Now clean up the bikes. Oh, he, oh, he got it. Okay. Ooh, Tarkos is very low on Tiberium. Let's see if he can take the final missile here. I think it's just missile squads and the, the Razorback Kenny Emmy should be able to take this. Let's see. Uh oh. Thanks coming up top. Oh, the boosted bikes on the right pad. The boosted bikes. Oh, that was so close. Last second. Cesarcos so ties up the set 1 1. Okay, game three. And we see Kenny Emmy picking a Russian. Changes his deck a little bit. Okay, so removes the MLR MLRS and puts in Grenadiers. So cheaper alternative. Uh, and also now doesn't need to spend the cost of the War Factory for a strong anti-vehicle unit. Um, probably won't need this thing shot, but probably kept it in there just in case that goes switched. And he needed it. Um, and Zarkos sticking with his same deck, so... What I would imagine is that these are both the comfort decks of the players right now. And what they're probably playing the most. So you see the, the players battling it for the middle pad. Most important one on this map, you control the middle and then you have basically a free pad <coughs> at the top for each player, right by the harvesters. So very, very hard for the other player to contest that far pad, so it's usually just a fight for the middle. Oh, this boosted Razorback. Oh, last second stall there. Oh, the Grenadiers are out now. Okay, so then not the bikes. Let's see if the Fanatics can get on the pad in time. Oh, the block. Rage back cleans them up. His first missile goes to Kenny. And the Fanatic boosted bikes. Oh, crazy. Oh my god, it did boost the Razor back. With one life yet left. He's so much value. Oh, and it's really nice the Grenadiers are this slow. So that's going to help a lot with my Grenadier Razorback. 
It was a good, good decision by Kenny, Kenny to switch to the MLRS to the Grenadiers. I like that. Okay, second missile's coming up. Fighting for the middle pad. Oh, Sarkos puts his harvester on. Good move. He's got more population to fight for the middle. He's on a timer now. Okay, so now Kenny puts his harvester on in this pad too, but he still has his missile squad up there, so that's not really doing him much good. Okay, now he moves it in. Oh, and Razorback goes to contest the top pad. Sarkos is chasing him with bikes, but oh, it does not get there in time. Well played. Alright, now we head to Sandbar. So, Zarkos. Life is on the line. It's down 1 to 2 in the set. First to 3 wins the set. And takes a lead for their team in the quarterfinals. First round of the playoffs. So we see Kenny bring in the same deck as last game. Zarkos has his same deck he's been using the whole set. Uh, he's, I'm not sure why he's just throwing away so many reels. Um, not only do the Missile Gods win one on one against wheels, um, typically want the defender's advantage. First chem buggy. Finally, Zekros makes a chem buggy to do with all the infantry. Okay, so maybe this tactical change will yield better results for him in this game. Oh, the Mohawk takes out the chem buggy. Zekros is his first missile. I mean, Mohawks, especially in a defensive position, uh, trade quite well with bikes. They're fairly tanky. You can see this bottom Mohawk just took two squads of, of bikes, so it's already <coughs> plus 10 Tiberium trade. And then takes out two thirds of a third squad. So uh, that's like. Plus 30 Tiberium. So you can just sit these Mohawks on the pads and then support as needed. So in this case, just uh, missile squads. Kenny wins the set, 2 to 1.